Hello, welcome to Exotic Gardening UK, your Chris Weekly. On this week's episode, we're going to look at what is the best time to dry store your onset bananas. So you've probably come to this video because you've seen my other videos on overwintering onset bananas and doing it in the dry store method, which I've gone through in detail and there will link in the corner and in the description below of how to do that. But you're probably thinking, when is the best time to actually dig them up? And that depends on two factors really. The first one is the weather, how what the weather is today, what the weather is going to be over the next few days, and when is the right time to start digging them up, depending on the weather. And the second factor is where you're actually going to store your dry stored on set and at what temperature. So you can actually dig up and dry store on set bananas from September and get them back into growth in early May if you wish at the extreme if they're really big bananas but the idea is to have them in dry storage for the shortest amount of time as possible so that they're growing most of the time rather than in storage but the longer you leave it the colder it gets the wetter it gets and in the UK we just get rain after rain after rain and you get lots of rain building into the actual base of the onset bananas into the where the leaf stems come out of the stem basically and what happens is it gets soggy and wet the soil's really muddy and wet and claggy in many occasions and it gets colder and as we get through october into november it gets more and more like that and first of all you probably don't want to be out digging up bananas when it's cold and you know wet and second of all it's going to take longer to dry out to get to the dry store process and have it successfully dry stored throughout winter so the earlier you do it, the longer you've got to dry it off, but then it means you've got longer in dry storage. But the later you leave it, the less time it's going to be in dry storage, which is better overall, but it means you're going to be dealing with wet, soggy soil and onset banana, and it might be having to rush out and sort of dig it up just before the first frost or after the first very light frost, which you can do. But that moves on to the second factor, which is where are you going to store it? So I always say it needs to be above five degrees to be dry stored, but ideally you want to be over 10 degrees really. But if you are going to dig this up when it's cold and wet outside and you're going to sort of turn it upside down to get rid of a lot of the water, wash off the soil and then bring it the right way up, it's still going to be really full of water for ages and start sweating for ages. And if you're going to store that somewhere just frost free at like five degrees in sort of like a maybe a garage or a, a greenhouse that you just heat in to be frost free then it's going to be wet and soggy for ages and the plant might rot away whereas if you're going to dry store it somewhere warmer so above 10 degrees or maybe in like a cupboard in your house or a storeroom in your house then you can get away with leaving it later because it will dry out quicker when it's at a bit warmer temperatures if that makes sense if you're going to be storing it just about five six degrees so it's just you know frost free but you're not sort of heating a space too much then you probably want to dig them up and start the dry storing process a bit earlier a day like today where it's nice a bit breezy not too cold at all i'm in a t-shirt so it's not too cold you could dig it up today and start the dry storing process and it will get to a reasonable dryness before you actually put it into its winter sort of storage area at about five six degrees so they're the two things you gotta look at you're gonna think what, what's the weather like and how far i'm going to leave it before i dig them up and then the second one is at well, what temperature are you going to dry store it i like to dry store mine ideally in a cupboard or in a, a storeroom in a building that's sort of heated somewhere else the building's not the room might not be heated with a radiator or anything like that, but it's definitely going to stay sort of 10 degrees or so. Some cellars will keep above 10 degrees as well, so that's another option. And some attics, if they're insulated above, might keep above 10 degrees. So that's another option. So there, there, in those circumstances, I can leave this really late. I can even leave it till the leaves are being slightly frosted, then dig them up, start the dry storage process bring them into where it's relatively warm, minimum of 10. It might go up to room temperature, it might go up to 15, 20 degrees. So that will really help dry them out a lot quicker and they won't be sat in soggy, wet conditions. But if I was going to store these somewhere where I'm just keeping it frost-free, five degrees, I would probably dig it up earlier before we get to the first frost, before it gets absolutely really wet, cold and soggy, which it will get into in November. 
So they're the things you've got to think about. So to think about where you're going to store it first of all, what temperature, and then based on that, then you can start thinking about when to dig these up. You can either dig it up early or you can dig it up late. But wherever, whenever you dig it up, you've got to make sure you dry it out really, really well before it goes into its storage place. And then in its storage place, make sure that it's not sort of letting out lots of water. You can use uh, newspaper to get rid of excess water or you can keep it somewhere quite warm to dry it out even further before it goes into its winter storage area. I hope that makes sense. If you like this video, please subscribe below. And if you want more overwintering tips and guides, check out my playlist on my channel and I'll keep continuing doing these sort of videos as long as they're requested. Thank you for watching.